West Coast are, um, well, they announced the crude oil deal. And the Port of Grace Harbor is being um, dredged out to be deeper so China can come and take the uh, crude oil, the Bakken oil, the Alberta tar sands oil, the oil from uh, North Dakota, um, and every place else they can get it natural gas. They're also going to store the oil here in Grays Harbor County. I'm going to try to find that link before I put this video up. Um, but um, yes, the Grays Harbor County, the port of Grays Harbor County, or the port of Grays Harbor, used to be a nice place to go to. Um, this ship from the Pirates of the Caribbean, that's where they, um, they docked it. And so it was kind of a... Um, since we don't really have much going on here, loggers and fishermen, and we're in a rural area, um, it, it was a tourist attraction. And now, well, I believe Homeland Security has taken over the port of um, Grace Harbor. I know you have to have that card to get anywhere near it. So um, let me show you what they're doing. Okay, here. It does say, Washington Port announces crude oil deal. And this is with trains, so this isn't the Keystone Pipeline. They're, they're still talking about it, and on the other side, they're doing they're just shipping it by uh, rail. And what they're going to do is they're going to be um, from uh, the Port of Vancouver in southwest Washington, could start handling crude oil from North Dakota. Um, I'm not going to read this whole article, but it's the back in oil. And they're going to carry it through the northwest of Washington. Um, and also, Grace Harbor is mentioned in here. I believe this one has Grace Harbor. Uh, maybe not, the Port of Grace Harbor. Um, also, wow, look at here. No Keystone Pipeline. Big Oil will just take the train. And yes, that's what they're doing. They're fixing the railroad tanks around here, and um, and they're going to just bring it right here to rural Washington State, uh, where we have we're kind of in the foothills of the Olympics, and it's hard to see things. And there's a lot of things going on here that um, really doesn't make a lot of sense. It, it's getting very controversial here. Um, I do know that uh, right here, I believe it says, um, because of the sudden rise in production of the Bakken uh, Three Fork Shell formations in the Dakotas, Montana, production has more than quadrupled in five years. Railroads are filling the gap in the crude oil transport capacity. And um, these are long trains, typically, typically numbering over 100 cars carrying that crude oil to refineries. Um, I'm going to try, I'm, I was looking for Grace Harbor because I know that we're one of the terminals they're going to bring it to. I mean, they, they've even taken the loggers out of that. Um, all on board, tar sand industry... Rail alternative stalled. So while all this is happening, um, you know, they're saying, oh, we, we're not getting the pipeline. They're sending it by rail. And um, here's a map of some of the um, the railroad, the class one railroads that they'll be taking them down. Now, I live over here, and nobody can really see us. You know, we're kind of hidden. And uh, it's really sad that they're doing this. Um I'm going to leave these links for you. Um, now this one, I, this one here is, it, it really was against the law for us to even do this, but they've changed the law now. So um, we're able to do that. this. Um, there's 200 barrels. Uh, ah, here we go. Westway Terminals, an international liquid storage provider, is proposing to build four new 200,000 barrel tanks for crude at the Port of Grace Harbor, midway up Washington coastline. The crude would be coming from North Dakota, Colorado, Nebraska, and possibly Alberta, Canada. As, as current American law bars the exportation of U.S. crude, with few exceptions, the foreign Canadian crude can be exported. 
We'd be surprised if it started to export crude, but we shouldn't be. Um, it's it's getting unreal. They're putting this right on the water, um, and and this this is directly uh, focused on my area here. Um, also, there there's um, the this this right here. Um, this guy, Rex Simmons. Um, after after the Arkansas disaster, and we know all the disasters they've had. He uh, he does he um, he wins a safety award as the Mayflower sees no end to the spill cleanup. So this this Rex Tillerson he he's a she's he he's something else. He's a piece of work. I'm also gonna uh, leave this link here. Now this link tells you everything, pretty much all the disasters that have happened from um, Exxon um, down to the Arkansas down to. Delaware's water being poisoned, and um, it just goes on and on, and now it's going to be in my backyard, and, and I sympathize with anybody who has to go through this. Montana looks for Exxon oil on river, because, and there it is. Um, uh, so this goes on, and that, if February 27th, Maryland, uh, I mean, th this, is, this is Delaware's drinking water. It, it, because of the Exxon Mobil drilling plan, it threatens the drinking water in the river basin. Um, I mean, this just keeps going on, and they're fracking. You name it, they got their hands in everything that make them money, and they really don't care about we the people. Um, so th th I'm going to leave this one. This one's an excellent little little um, article here, and. Um, here is the shell. These these right here. This map also shows you what kind of shells, like the back and oil, and, and all the different kinds. The Barnett. This this is in the, the Marcellus shell here of natural gas. It'll show you all that, and um, it, it's terrible. This 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 is just unreal, and um, this is on Dawson Creek here, the Mayflower, Arkansas, New Oil Lake. I'm not going to play the video. I'm going to just leave the links and let you guys um, look. And remember, he they got an award for being so safety conscience. And um, also, New Hampshire is having some trouble themselves. So um, they, they play this up like they're some kind of big hero safe in the United States. We're shipping this oil to China, guys. And, um, and then... We'll get it back in some some kid will play with some toxic toy that's made in China and and get sick. We don't use this oil. Um, maybe some of the the natural gases we use, but um, sorry about that. <laughs> but no, overall we don't. I mean, th this is the tar sands oil. It's it's illegal to even use this oil in the United States of America, and I believe in Canada too. So. Um, um, I'm going to actually say thank you to Mary Greeley, uh, 1954, I believe that's your name. I'm a, I sub you, but uh, you had brought up this Rex Tillerson, and I know all about him, so I thought I would do what they're doing in our area, and as much as people are standing up, no one's listening, so, and like I said, I believe the Homeland Security is now running our port, all the loggings, there used to be logs, and like I said, it was it was a tourist attraction to see the um, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ships parked there and and now there's nothing. It's just going to be Chinese ships coming in getting oil and lots of oil leaks and toxicity and now drones overhead and peace, love, no fear, have a good day and. I, I think that the, the pipeline was a distraction for the trains because they've been planning on using trains since 2011. Peace.